تھرٹین ہنڈریڈ آرس پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی اسما حفیظ فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس فارن منسٹر سیز پاکستان وانٹس ڈیوربل پیس ان افغانستان اینڈ ول کنٹینیو ٹو پلے اٹس پازیٹو رول ڈسپائٹ بیس لیس ایلیگیشن آف افغان پریزیڈنٹ Prime Minister is paying a day-long visit to Bahawalpur today to inaugurate various development projects. 81 deaths due to coronavirus and 4,856 new positive cases of the infection have been reported in the country. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, special prayer meetings are being held today to mark the martyrdom anniversary of prominent Huryat leader Sheikh Abdul Aziz and other martyrs. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi says Pakistan wants durable peace in Afghanistan and will continue to play its constructive role in this regard despite baseless allegations of Ashraf Ghani. In a statement today, the Foreign Minister said Pakistan always played a positive role for peace in Afghanistan and Pakistani delegation is also present in the peace dialogue being held in Doha today. He said the world is appreciating and acknowledging Pakistan's reconciliatory and sincere efforts for peace in Afghanistan. He said that unfortunately, Pakistan is being blamed for the deteriorating situation in Afghanistan by some Afghan elements. He said the role of these spoilers should be monitored strictly. The foreign minister urged all stakeholders for collective hard work and efforts for regional peace as rising violence in Afghanistan is very concerning for Pakistan. The foreign minister expressed deep concern over the negative role of India as president of the UN Security Council for a month. Minister of Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain says corruption of leadership downs the nation and Afghanistan is an example of that. In a tweet today, he said with 8th province falling to Taliban, peoples of Afghanistan and the United States must question the so-called leadership of Afghanistan, where $2 trillion vanished that they received to build Afghan National Army. The Information Minister pointed out how come all ministers and generals became billionaires, but people of Afghanistan are suffering due to poverty. He questioned as to who is responsible for these sufferings. In Afghanistan, Taliban have captured two more provincial capitals, taking the total to eight in last five days. According to details, Farah city of southwestern Farah province and Pule Khumri city of northwestern province of Bakhlan are the latest, latest to be taken by Taliban. The United States says its airstrikes are helping to blunt Taliban advances across Afghanistan. The Defense Department Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby told reporters in Washington that we have every confidence that those strikes are hitting what we are aiming at and are having an effect on the Taliban. Prime Minister Imran Khan is paying a day-long visit to Bahawalpur today to inaugurate various development projects. The Prime Minister will also address Kisan Convention and distribute Kisan cards among farmers. Besides other engagements, Imran Khan will visit the country's biggest national park, Lal Suhanra, and plant sapling under Clean and Green Pakistan program there. Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar says the government is working on a single regulatory and governance system for the whole federal capital to ensure provision of all basic civil facilities to its residents. Talking to media in Islamabad this morning along with Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on CD Affairs Ali Nawaz Khan, after inauguration of Moonson plantation campaign, he said Prime Minister will soon formally approve the large-scale development projects for Islamabad. 81 deaths due to coronavirus and 4,856 new positive cases of the infection have been reported in the country. According to National Command and Operations Center, 64,690 tests were conducted and positivity ratio remained 7.50%. The number of total deaths due to coronavirus pandemic has reached 24,085. 
In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, special prayer meetings are being held today to mark the martyrdom anniversary of prominent Hurriyat leader Sheikh Abdul Aziz and other martyrs. Sheikh Abdul Aziz was martyred by Indian troops on this day in 2008 while he was leading a march to Azad Kashmir against the economic blockade of the Kashmir Valley by Hindu extremists of Jammu. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gob.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.